Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another food video. Today, we are making tacos de Jamaica. I know, tacos de Jamaica. By the way, if you hear other sounds, that is my daughter. I'm sorry for that. But before I get started, I just want to say all the ingredients are listed down in the description box. So, para que los vean. Um, so, the first step is to darle una, like, enjuagada to Jamaica because, I mean, if you buy it in a bag, it's okay. If you buy it where you have to get, like, a spatula and, like, pour inside your bag, people usually tend to, like, grab it with their hands and it's kind of weird. So, just give it, like, a little rinse. Um, the second step is you want to give it a boil about two times. Just boil it. Let it boil. Um, this will make the floor get soft. Um, also, do not throw away the water because you can make agua fresca with that. And it's so, so good. So after two boils, this is what it looks like. Flour should be somewhat soft. And then water should be somewhat clear. Um, you're going to set that aside. In a pan, add some oil. Once the oil is caliente, add your onions and your serrano peppers. Y dejen los que las cebollas de casi transparentes. Now, the funny thing is I had tomatoes on the side because I wanted to add tomatoes. And me being me, I forgot to add them. It's optional, but I added them for the more, like, more flavor. Uh, then I add garlic powder, chicken nor, paprika, and chili powder. Um, I don't add sal because the nor already has, like, sal in it. So I just... No lecho. <laughs> But at the end, when you taste everything, you can add salt if it needs more salt. And after it cooks, I just go ahead and add the Jamaica. Remember to stir as it cooks. Let that cook for about five minutes. Um, and then it should like look something like this. It's so soft. Not super soft, but it's soft. It has like the consistency of like fajita. Somewhat así. Um, I usually have it in tacos or in tostadas, whatever you like. So then I get my tortillas. Um, I used tortilla de harina because I realized last minute I didn't have tortilla de maíz. But whichever tortilla you pick, it goes good. I'm adding about a spoonful to each. You guys, it looks, it's, the smell here was like bomb. And it's like so easy to make. Um, then I'm adding, wow, I can't even talk. But I'm adding some queso fresco. Um, you can add all the different things you want. I keep it simple. I only add queso fresco and more salsa because if you know me, I like my things really spicy. So so this is what it ends up looking like, you guys. It is so good. It's una receta muy fácil de hacer with only like a small amount of ingredients. And there it is me showing you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, give it a huge thumbs like. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. And hit that not notification bell to get notifications of when I upload. And I will see you in my next video. And if you guys have any like requests on what you guys want to see, leave a comment down below. And I will make sure to do so. Alright. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.